And you are welcome. <laughs> it's our final guest in here with us. We are finally joined by Bola Giogumara, who is a Nollywood actress, a very beautiful Nollywood actress, mm -hmm. a film producer. <laughs> Normally, okay. I would be the one who's excited about having a guest uh, here from Nollywood, but um, listen, the two of them have just been going on, and it's like as if they're sisters, high-fiving and everything. I'm like, mm. No, it is a good feeling. I feel like the guest. I feel like the guest. The show. And then, you know, when you've seen someone's journey, you mm. see someone's work and then you're not interviewing the person. So I have to act like I have like all the home training. Okay. But, but guys, I have like a disclaimer. But that is not <laughs> okay, it's okay. I said I won't say it in public. Please. I'm helping you. How Please. Are you? I'm fine. Good to have you here. Thank you. My, my colleague was just drooling. No, oh, beauty. he does it every time. So. In the, in, every, in, every time anybody comes in, here. No, yes, that's yes. not true. So you are special. That. You are just so ordinarily beautiful. Thank you need you. no makeup. Your sparse use ah. of makeup is so, so elegant. I love it. Okay. Okay. See, do you know you can just crown this? Just give her iPhone 13. Top wear. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good but to it's have, good you, to have here. you here. Thank you. I want us to quickly start with the Ogubola company. That I know not many actresses start mm -hmm. their own production company. Yeah. Now, juggling your work as an actor and a producer, <coughs> what inspired you to start producing? Funny enough, um, I've always wanted to produce. Oh, okay. You know, um, starting out, I knew that I wanted to tell the stories that I am passionate about. Okay. And I like to manage things. Okay. And it is, I, I mean, I studied business management in school, okay. and I knew that I wanted to do something about, you know, be at the, at the back of the camera, you know, just to manage and do things and just create stories that can affect me, you, and everybody watching. And I'm passionate about them, you know, yeah. I'm passionate about how, you know, I can take a story, flip it around, and it becomes a phenomenon that people see. It's, yeah. just, it's just mind blowing for me. So I knew I wanted to do that. and. I've been saying it for the longest time. Okay. So, t fast forward 2019, mm -hmm. I was supposed to be on a very popular show, and um, they told me off because apparently, you know, some people say I was black. Yeah, I was dark skinned, and they needed a light skinned person to be on the show. It was supposed to be running for a year. And right. now I was hearing that afterwards, and it was like the lowest moment of my career. And I was thinking, where do I go from here? What do I do? And Adini Kadibaya, who is my very good friend, said, Write a story. Let's talk. Let's write. I didn't have one naira to oh, produce wow. Rich, which was, it's on Iroko TV. Yes. Please check it out if you can. And I, I started writing. Now, I didn't have one naira. But I had a good story. Yeah. And I said, you know what? We'll make this work. We'll make it happen. And from one person to another, somebody helped with this, somebody helped with that. And Rich made me a producer. Yeah. And for me, it was... It was mind-blowing because at that point, at the lowest point of my life and my career, I became a film producer. It's funny that you would call that the lowest point of your career. Yeah. Because I remember 2019, and I kind of like remember the project you're talking mm -hmm. about. But I remember at that point, I was still seeing you as someone who, at that point, you were, would say you were fast-rising. Because now she's no more fast-rising. Yeah, exactly. She's pretty, she's, you're, you're doing pretty well. Thank you. And Rich was really beautiful. I remember thank reaching oh, out to you. you. Yes, when you I did. watched Rich, yeah. it was really an interesting yeah. thing. But I have a question about Rich. Okay. Now, was that a personal story? Or did you just create it? Don't um, lie. Oh. No, I will not lie. It was part of my story. Okay. But what was it about? Okay. You have to go and watch it. Ah, ah, nah, nah. Just a little <laughs> you bit. watch it. It's just small, like, like a... Well, it's uh, about a photographer that yes. is this um, working class girl. And, and she was so stressful. And she used to listen to inspiring... Um, inspiring so, uh, someone who inspired in the morning mm. yeah and then so this guy called i'm not giving you everything Sha. Yeah. so you so have to watch it go and watch it yeah okay i promise i'm going to see it but okay. you also touched on something which i wanted to ask yeah. about you touched uh, touched on the matter of colorism yes. in the yes. entertainment yeah. industry yes. not just that i also hear there was plenty of sexism as well and yeah. harassment and all of that um, how has that impacted any of the work that you're putting out, or even you personally, especially that aspect, colorism? Yes, yeah, because yeah. I, I would like to talk about that because that's personal to me. Yeah. Now, before I knew that that was the reason why I was booted off the show, I, 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 I felt like this, I mean, I'm a Nigerian, I'm a black woman. Why would you're a you... beautiful black woman. Beautiful black woman, thank tell you. Them. Why would you yep. <laughs> tell them. <laughs> and why would you say that someone is not fit to play their race? Or they, or they are, the story, or, or their color. The story is about Nigeria. It's, 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 it's a Nigerian, it's a Nigerian story. story, and you say because I am dark skin, you will not give me the the, the project. Mm -hmm. it, it, it made me start to rethink a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And there was this quote I saw one time that says that a lot of black dark skin girls don't go as far as light skin girls. Yeah. Mm. Now I'm like, why? Mm. Why? Yeah. 
So I have decided I'll make it a point of now, no, no disrespect to light skinned girls, mm -hmm. natural light skinned girls, you guys are beautiful. <laughs> But, you know, it's time to show some love to the dark girls. Yeah. Because you tell us that we don't look good on camera. You tell mm -hmm. us the light is too, we have to put too much light, light on, on us. You, tell, yeah. it, it, it's, it's, it's something that it, it, it bothers me a lot. Mm. Because I'm never going to be light skinned. It's Shit. not going well, to Well, you could. No, you but I would never do that. <laughs> yeah, no, but let's talk about you away from work. Now, yeah. we, if anyone who follows you on social media <clears> would see how... You're moving from set to set. I remember oh. we tried to hang out so many times. It was as yeah, bad as she was in Inugu that. state. Yeah. So I come to Inugu state. I'm like, yo, I'm in Inugu. She's like, I'm in Abuja. I'm in Abuja, I'm like, yeah. You were just in Inugu yesterday. Yeah. So how do you manage your personal life? How do you manage relationships, family? How do you juggle everything To be together? honest, I don't have a life. <laughs> I, I, sadly, I would not lie to you. It is hard. Oosh. It is very hard. Because you are constantly moving. You're constantly... Mm. I, I can't remember the last time I just hung out with my friend. It's yeah. so hard. And sometimes I miss it, but I understand that this is my, like my friend would say, my investment stage. Yeah. I, I heard you guys talking about that when you came in. You guys yeah. talking about how you miss each other each time. But the connection between the two of you is yeah. amazing. You guys <laughs> should see it. It's explosive. They are, they're comporting themselves yeah. right now. But tell you what we're going to do. Let's take a look at one of your work. Oh, Let's yeah. see what that's about. And mm -hmm. then we'll come back to have some more discussion. Okay. Is that it? He started touching me. Hey. Ah! I was like, ah, ah, what is all this? I, I was shocked. I said, ah, I, I cannot do this, so I'm not a prostitute. I said, he, he would tell my madam that he has paid my madam already. Yes. Ah. Ah, he now got angry. Even me, I now got angry, so I now punched him in his block course, and I ran away. Back by your enemy. Ah. That's how my madam now said that. I should go back there. That, uh -uh. that if I don't do it, you collect all my papers and send me out. <gasps> I said, no. Prostitution is not my calling. But no, Nije. She now sent me out. Oh, ah. madam is wicked. Ah. She's wicked. Very wicked. I was walking, I saw police people. I even think they were going to help me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I'm, I'm going to do this. I do this often, I'm sure, Tokwe. I'm sorry. I always yeah. throw you in with the guests when I ask a question, especially when we have someone from Nollywood. Yeah. Because yeah. you're an actor yourself. Mm -hmm. How long does it take you to prepare for such a role that is so distant from your natural self? Usually, it takes quite a number of, uh, like quite a lot of time, time you yeah. know. Uh, but this took a number of days to... Rafia <laughs> Telonora was like a number of days. <laughs> like the producer, uh, producer director of Bearden Series just literally threw me in. I said, mm. see... I have a story. This is it. I kind of feel like she had somebody for it before. <laughs> then she's like, we okay, all have those you know what? Um, Balaji nah. will do it. So yeah. she just threw me in four days before production and I struggled. I wouldn't even lie because I was not prepared. Mm. But good but thing we didn't see the struggle. Yeah. I, I'm really and it was, grateful. It's really something I think to, I'm everyone How do you manage? Do you have like a, a person in mind that you have to model after when you have to change these characters? No, I don't know. Why are you interviewing me? I don't know. Because you are both actors. Yeah, but she's, she's a very good actor, by the way. Oh, I know. Oh, but it's about you, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you, can you do something for us? Do you have something special, like a character that she should do? Ah. Uh, yes. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I don't eh? If you're not paying, no, you're like owing me. You're much, owing me for What would I be a businesswoman? <laughs> oh, I don't understand. Give her something. Give her Just something. Just entertain us. Let's see you play. Don't, don't. Don't. Oh, you see what? Well, I, I really like a character from Rich. Okay. Oh, no, let's not do Rich. Okay. Let's have you play a. Uh, what's see now? It's you see? <laughs> I'm trying to say something she's not let's done. Have, let's have you play. To, uh, a mother in law. Uh -huh, yes. Good. Yes. Oh, you have played the, the daughter in law. So, so let's have you play mother in law. Who doesn't like that? Yes, I don't like. like no, okay, so yes. Tapoy has to do it with me. Yes, uh, yeah. Okay, so start. So this is your son? Yes. And um, he brought um, your Mama, <laughs> Ekaro. Um, this is uh, Tope. Um, I just wanted you to meet her and uh, you know. Ibu, ilu olotiwa. Sorry, I don't. I don't speak uh, no, Yoruba. she doesn't speak Yoruba. Hey, ogbele wale la tuwa pe. Ilu olotiwa. Where do you come from? Oh, um, well, I just got back from the UK. Yeah, she Then just you got back. Wo, so eh, Mama? Sorry, she said she likes you very much. No, so where come out? Come here, come here. Eh, she said we should go to the. Go to the. Ibu, lefelo. She said, she well, so I've heard so much about you. I was thinking that um, we could go out to see the movies. I've just a couple of films shown in cinemas. Well, like Amala, so Bamilod Siwa. What's that? 
Yeah, go and make a mala. But you can make her some spaghetti. Oh, but I don't cook. Oh, that's why I made the macaroni right? <laughs> 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 but why? Why why do we always have to why do our mother in laws have to oh, be like this? I mean, this is it's, it's cliche. Not yes. all mother in laws are no, like nasty. No, yeah. no. Some mother in laws are very nice. Yeah, but that's very... a high point of her film Reach mm. that you should see. Okay. Because oh. the mother in law was a disaster. I'm like, telling you I felt so bad. <laughs> They didn't give her. They didn't even give her a, an opportunity to try. Yeah. yeah and then Rufia Tadaro is also showing on YouTube. Yes. Um, yeah. We have another um, episode. episode on Friday. So every four, every four Friday is by, okay. by four p.m. 4 p.m. Yeah. yeah. But it's good to have you Thank here. You. But before yeah. we let you go, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I mean, if you know, there's some brothers out there that have even seen you. They're like. Spolagi, but we don't know. We don't know. Top what man. should we do? What should we do? Top. So should they slide in the DM? Is the DM open? At your risk, man. Yeah. At your risk. Your risk. <laughs> if you want to slide, please. So, are, are we ready to date? Oh, it's 2020. It's a new year. We're in February. Talk about what's going on with you. I'm helping you find out. I don't understand. Don't worry. She's she's working on it. I'm <laughs> helping out. She, she, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. is an emission. <laughs> To so, hook her up, eh? Yeah, well, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> so, I think working. focus, focus. On me? Yes. I I'm good. I'm All right, so slide in her yes. DMs. And she's very available. She said it already. I, but I hope I you came hungry. Yes. Ah, you, no home journey. No, oh no, I'm okay. Oh, but, but we should take it. Don't get one. There's food. Come with me yes, to the kitchen. Yes. I love this. Okay. Yes, this oh, way. Oh, wow.